Right, so this is the gadget hater uh, with the Sony YB, and this is a video walkthrough of how to disassemble your computer and um, replace your hard drive with an SSD and to you know, switch out your RAM module or upgrade or whatever. Um, right now I'm just <coughs> showing off the, the, the basic outside. Uh, it looks pretty nice uh, until you touch it then you realize what a piece of shit it really is. But um, I guess it looks pretty good there. Yeah, it's because you, if you haven't played with it, you have no idea. So right here, here's the uh, back panel. Uh, I've already taken out the two, the three screws, and you can sort of see uh, there's like a notch where you can sort of get your finger in there, and then um, you can take the panel off. Um, there are two screws that hold down the hard drive, um, and you, once you take those off, there's a tab that you can lift up, but oddly the tab is on the opposite side of where it actually lifts up, you need to lift it up from the left. Um, see if you can see where it's lifting up there. So it's sort of odd, but yeah. Um, once you're aware of that, then you can sort of <clears throat> take it out of the grooves that it sits in because the SATA port has a little connector that lets it attach to the VIO uh, through these notches. Um, this is one piece that you can just slide into the, uh, to your SSD or hard drive or whatever you have. Um, yeah, and there it is, close up. Um, and that was, and that's the original Toshiba drive that ships with the YB. And I believe that's a 320 gigabyte model. Um, it's just gonna make a world of difference by putting in the SSD drive as far as as far as speed is concerned. Um, yeah, and the SSD that I use is a Vertex 2. Um, it's not the 25, it's not the crappy 25 nanometer version. Uh, oh, here I'm flipping out the RAM module. There are these latches um, that you can just flip and actually just put it into the other slot. Um, and that's, that's simple enough. I mean, if you've ever taken a computer apart in your life, then you should know how to do that. And then, um, but yeah, uh, as I was saying about the SSD, that's the best uh, upgrade that you can do. Right there, you can see that um, you can unscrew like those four, four screws there and then uh, place that within the, the hard drive holder, which then you use to insert back into the into the bio, like I've done there. So once that's back in, uh, the SATA connection set through the notches, you put in those two black screws right there, and then you just, um, and then you just replace the lid after you're done with that. <clears throat> uh, the, I guess the difficult part about doing the lid though is, um, I guess when you're at least taking it off, it's the three, there's only three screws, but uh, the three screws are not supposed to all fall out. So don't get freaked out by that. I mean, the three screws are just sort of in place. Um, so don't keep on turning, expecting that they'll fall out. They won't, you can see that they're attached right there. Um, but I, the difficult part about taking off this cover, um, even though it looks like it's, Sony intended this to be user replaceable as far as the hard drive and the, the RAM modules. It's It feels like it's gonna snap right off. So um, I suggest that you find what, where the, the, the notch is and it's gonna be on the, uh, it's gonna be near the third screw on the right side where my right hand is. <clears throat> um, and sort of just wiggle around, like wiggle it if you can, wiggle the, uh, the lid and see if it comes loose that way. Um, that's it, once you have that latch, oh, once, once you have the lid off, um, everything is pretty easy if you're used to taking taking computers apart. So yeah, um, as far as putting it back in, just make sure all the notches are flush um, against the back piece of VIO. And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> just 
basically just turn that right on. Um, you got an SSD in there. It probably boots in about 30 seconds. I don't know. I've got a uh, my video with a stopwatch or a video showing you the uh, boot time with my uh, wristwatch next to next to it, so you can you can see how long it takes and. That's pretty much it.